Hi, this is Scott Wankiewicz from Photocruddy, and I want to talk to you real quick about light boxes, the basic light boxes in NextGen Gallery. We had some, some customers that uh, contacted us and said that their light boxes are not working. The basic light boxes, fancy box, or just light box, or, or any of those, um, you can see here, fancy box, shutter, high slide, light box, shutter two, and thick box, um, that they're not working, but uh, when they install NextGen Pro, the Pro light box is working fine. And s we found some solutions for this. Um, once the, the, the first thing to look at, aside from de disabling other plugins that could be conflicting, um, is the advanced settings for the light box. Now, the reason why we say this is a lot of users are developing their website, their WordPress site, on a subfolder or in a subdomain, and then they're moving that to somewhere else to bring it live. And when that happens, for some reason, the, uh, the URL in, the, in this light box is not changing. And we're looking into the reason why. But to make things work, the first thing I would do is recommend check, go to the light box you want. So for example, this customer wants Fancy Box to be used. So when you first get to this, you go down to light box effects, choose Fancy Box, and then here you have Show Advanced Settings. So if you click on Show Advanced Settings, you've got the uh, code that NextGen Gallery is going to use. And then here you have the style sheet and the JavaScript. Now, you can see here it's, it's outdoorsok.com slash testing. But if you look up at the domain, it's outdoors .com, uh, outdoorsok.com, and that's it. No slash testing. So what happened was the customer was actually developing the website on a subfolder, so it wasn't live and then moved all that to the root folder to make it live. And unfortunately, the, um, the, the CSS and JavaScript that we were calling it did not move with it. So uh, the files moved, but where the actual URL it was trying to pull from did not change. So to fix it, all you have to do is go to that, um, the CSS, remove or update the URL so it's correct. So I'm, for in this example, I'm removing testing from each of those lines. So it's just the root domain .com slash WP content and that's it. You save that and now the fancy box will work for this customer. So that's the first thing to look at. If your basic light boxes are not working and your pro light box is working, that is most likely the cause. So definitely check that out. Again, go to other options, light box effects, choose the light box you want to adjust, show advanced settings, adjust that and save and then just check to make sure that it's working. If it's not working still, please contact us so we can take a look. Thanks for watching.